So what's up guys, um, a few things I wanted to talk about quickly here today was um, apparently, uh, uh, yeah, this guy named Jerry Sandusky, he was arrested for uh, apparently 40 counts relating to sexual abuse of eight young boys over a 15 year period, and apparently people like uh, uh, Joe Paterno and, um, and uh, uh, the... I guess the president of Penn State, they've all been, arre um, not arrested, but they've all been fired for apparently not reporting the abuse that Sandusky was performing. Um, and, you know, the way I look at it, though, Sandusky is a douchebag, he's a pedophile, but what Paterno did... I don't, I don't really know. I'm not really going to get much into it. I think Paterno is kind of... I, I really kind of think he's a bit of a douchebag, too. But the president of Penn State, I mean, come on. That, that's a little far-fetched, isn't it? I mean, Joe Paterno, I think he may have had something to do with it, too. But, you know, that that's that that's about as far as I'm going to get with that. Um... So we're just going to move on from that. I just wanted to quickly mention that. But I wanted to also ask you guys, what do you think about the Joe Paterno, the Sandusky thing? What do you think? Leave your leave your comments below or Twitter me, whatever. Um, and um, <clears throat> Occupy Oakland is still going on. Um, I'm not going to talk again much on that. I'm just going to say quickly that I do support the protesters and that, you know, I don't support the anarchists. I don't support anarchy because I'm not an anarchist. I don't support a system of government that's, you know, that, that wants, you know, no government. I mean, we need some form of government to, you know, p patrol and keep the order because that's why government is in place. Um... But I do, and plus the anarchists seem to have gotten quite violent, so, you know, that's all I'm saying. The, the, the whole situation is, is that most of them are peaceful protesters, yet at the same time they're still being, they're still being arrested by, uh, by the police because the police are, are in support of this totalitarian state, so, you know, I'm, I'm just not gonna... Yeah, I'm just not going to get much into that. Um, quickly on Michelle Bachman, I wanted to talk quickly about her because uh, um, Michelle Bachman, you know, she's kind of, she, she's really a hypocrite, you know. She criticizes Obama for his military actions in Libya and Uganda, yet you listen to her on, uh, you, you know, how her, she talks, and yet she supports the expansion of the military empire and the military industrial complex that that uh, President Eisenhower warned us about. You know, she wants to continuously expand our military into other countries. She wants to start a war with Iran. It's like, so you're going to criticize the president for his military actions, yet you're going to start your own. That sounds hypocritical to me. I'm sorry. Um, and the burqa ban, I wanted to really, kind of, really stress the burqa ban, because they, they have, it's been widely publicized, like, within France, but, um, first of all, I'm going to just kind of give you my stance. Basically, um, my stance on the burqa is that it's a religious symbol, you know, it's, it symbolizes, um, you know, it, it's an Islamic symbol, and if they want to cover their faces or whatever, you know, we may think it's weird, you know, to, you know, that their culture does that, but that's their culture, and they have every right to that freedom and that religious aspect as we do with our, you know, with our religions and our beliefs. They have the same rights, whether we like it, whether we like it or not. And the way that some of these fascist governments have have laws banning the burqa it's absurd i mean why would you do that because 
and their claims that that it oh that you know it's a te you know it's a thing about terrorism you know they make it into an, a whole thing about terrorism and that's bullshit because terrorism has it, it has nothing to do with the burqa you know I just love how all these friggin conservatives and all these you know these other fascists and everybody they just try to make it into a terrorist thing they try to make it that oh if you support the burqa if you, if you don't uh, like support the ban on the burqa oh you're supporting terrorists it's like no we're actually supporting the civil and equal rights for all people you know you know I just love how they try to make it that, that, that we're you know supporting terrorists or that we're appeasing to terrorists you know it's like no we just don't like the fact that we just don't like people discriminating against other people because it is it's discrimination in places like France where it was like uh, the French Senate overwhelmingly approved a ban on September 14th 2010 on burqas in public um, the law became effective on April 11th of this year uh, 2011 when the measure was sent in May to um, Parliament where they said and I quote Given the damage it produces on those rules which allow the life in community, ensure the dignity of the person and equality between sexes, this practice, even if it is voluntary, cannot be tolerated in any public place. The ban is officially called the bill to forbid concealing one's face in public because it, quote, refers neither to Islam nor, nor to veils. Officials insist that the law against face covering is not discriminatory because it would apply to everyone, not just Muslims, yet they cite a host of exceptions, including motorcycle helmets uh, or masks for health reasons, fencing, skiing, or carnivals. Um, so, ba so, yeah, they, they basically wanting you, they, they banned it for not only just Muslims, but for everybody. Yet they use it. Yet they use it. The Muslims that basically are discriminating against Muslims. But even if they're not discriminating against Muslims, even if it is for all people, it's a freedom of expression, and they're violate. And you know anybody that would support it, you're violating one's right, individual right to, you know, freedom of expression or religious expression, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's also banned in Belgium because on April 29, 2010, the lower house of parliament in Belgium passed a bill banning any clothing that would obscure the identity of the wearer in places like parks and in the street. Um, let's see. And in Italy, an anti-terrorism law passed in 75 uh, forbids it to wear any dress that hides the face of a person. In May 2010, it was reported that a Tunisian woman was fined 500 uh, euros for this offense. So yeah, it's a again, it's a violation of one's freedom of expression. I don't know what the constitutional guidelines are in some of these European countries, but here in America, if that law were to come up, liberals who make up the majority of this country now would not support it because it, it just you know it would be kind of, because it's a whole thing that you're violating one's right to ex to individual and religious expression you're violating anybody's right to wear veils as a you know it's yeah it would be a that would be an individual expression and if it's, you're a Muslim that's your religious right so it would never so in America it would never pass because it would be violating the First Amendment um, here's the most fascist of them all Australia's liberal liberal senator Cory Bernardi called for the burqa to be banned in the country because he branded it un-Australian the ban did not go ahead but debate about the burqa continues um, It says uh, Carnita Matthews of Sydney was sentenced to six months in jail uh, for making a false statement accusing a police officer of attempting to forcibly lift her burqa. The officer pulled her over for a random breath test and then ticketed her for failing to properly display a pee plate. 
Then she submitted a signed false complaint to a police station while wearing a burqa. Um, Islamic activists protested in support of Matthews, uh, and Judge Clive Jeffries overturned the conviction in June 2011, uh, citing, uh, citing that he thought uh, were differences between the signature of her license and that on the complaint. Forensic handwriting examiners who Jeffries did not consult said that differences between signatures were to be expected. She then proceeded to seek uh, legal costs. On July 4, 2011, NSW became the first Australian state, uh, nor North South Wales, basically is what NSW stands for, uh, that would allow police to demand that burkas and other headgear, such as motorcycle helmets, be removed when asking for identification. Now, I can understand when you're being pulled over, yes, um, but the whole thing, the whole thing that uh, a liberal senator of all people, I don't, who says it was un-Australian to wear a burqa, no, it's not really un-Australian, it's not un-anything, it's not un-American, un-Australian, un-British, whatever you want to call it, it's not, because it is a person's uh, either individual and or religious right to wear one. And he, he says he's a liberal senator. That, I find that funny because if that if you're calling it un-Australian, you're not a liberal, dude. A liberal is a person, or at least in America anyway, a liberal is a person that uh, supports uh, civil and individual rights, equal rights, uh, social democracy, um, you know, they support, um, you know, there, there's there's different things, and yet he supports, and yet he supports a ban on a burqa because he believes it's un-Australian. Then you're not a liberal; you're a fake liberal. You're a conservative or a moderate, to say the least. But you're not liberal. You're you're basically a fake liberal. You're a fake leftist. So get the hell out of my corner because you have officially been dismissed um other things they were talking about uh um let's see France I talked about the United Kingdom it's it's been a big thing too because they believe that uh you know but it, it never has taken place but yeah, it's like in a lot of these European countries, it seems to be a problem. And like I said, it's a religious and individual express, uh, you know, freedom. It's your right to wear one. So if you support a ban on a burqa, frankly, I think you're a fascist and a douchebag, and you don't belong on this planet. I'm NorCal Nick, president of NorCal, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.